Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Today, we'll go through a study where investigators looked at how boosting NAD levels with NMN and NR helped reduce in the impact of intense allergic reactions. We have had comments on our channel before about comparisons of NMN and NR, so good to see both of them in this study. First, a quick disclaimer. In this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. NAD plus boosting molecules suppress mast cells, degranulation and anaphylactic responses in mice. In the paper, they are looking at the impact of low NAD levels, as for example in aging and immune response, particularly the function of mast cells in an anaphylactic condition. They tested whether restoring NAD levels by supplementation with NMN and NR prevented the anaphylactic response. In vitro with mouse and human cells, and in vivo in a mouse model. In vitro, the NAD precursors did reduce the inflammatory cytokines. And in vivo, injecting NMN or NR into the mice reduced system anaphylactic response. While this procedure was not effective in CERT6 knockout mice, showing a role for CERT6 in the effect. And the conclusion is that NAD precursors may help as a therapeutic strategy to mast cell mediated anaphylactic responses. First of all, what is anaphylaxis? It is an extreme allergic reaction which can be triggered by food, drugs, or chemical toxins. Some of the risk factors include old age and comorbidities. Anaphylactic shock can be fatal and therapies are limited. And once an anaphylactic response is triggered, first-line treatment is injection with epinephrine, that is to say, adrenaline. A mast cell is part of the immune system, which is resident in tissues. It contains granules rich in histamine and heparin, which are released in a process known as degranulation when an antigen is sensed, thus causing an inflammatory response, which is part of the anaphylactic event. First, let's look at the in vitro results from mouse bone marrow derived mast cells. These cells were primed with an anti DNP IgE and then had the DNP added. DNP is shown as AG in the graphs. The first graph is showing that adding DNP lowered the NAD levels, while NMN or NR rescued these to above the original control. They then looked for the presence of various inflammatory markers, such as histamine, TNF-alpha, and interleukin-6. In each case, the cells treated with NR or NMN had lower levels of inflammation. Next was a similar test on human mast cells to confirm the same behavior, and we can see that the NAD boosters did help to lower the inflammatory markers. In the in vivo study, first they sensitized the mice to DNP and treated them with 100 mg per kilogram of NMN for three days with injections. 24 hours after the last NMN dose, they were challenged with the antigen. When this happens, there is a robust drop in body temperature that we can see in the green line, but that those were who were pre-treated with NMN in red had about half the effect. The second test was in the ear, where the IgE and the DMP were injected into the skin. The blue dye shows the affected area, and we can see that this is reduced in the mouse treated with NMN. They theorized that CERT6 might be involved in the mechanism of action, and to test this, they repeated the experiments on mice with CERT6 knocked out in their mast cells. We can see that the cohort with NR and CERT6 knocked out in red fared much worse than the one with CERT6 and NR in purple. The same story was visible in the inflammatory markers, showing that CERT6 is at least partly responsible for the positive effects of increased NAD. One interesting point of this study is that they used NR and NMN in the experiments, what did they say when comparing the two molecules? They based their dosing on previous studies and went with 100 milligrams per kilogram of NMN and 150 milligrams per kilogram of NR. Their testing showed that the effective range of NMN was from 30 to 100 milligrams per kilogram and for NR, 75 to 150 milligrams per kilogram. So it does seem that NR needs a higher dose to be effective. They did see that injecting NMN or NR increased the NAD levels, which prevented the anaphylactic response. From the literature, they say NR was expected to be more effective at raising NAD levels, but this is not what they saw. Another possible use of NMN 
though it looked like for this to work, the treatment would have to be taken before the antigen is in the body. So a preventative measure rather than a response. Good to see another benefit of NAD boosters, and interesting to see that both NR and MN were effective, but the NR seemed to need a significantly higher dose. Sleep and stress management are vital for longevity, and my wife and I have been looking for ways to improve our sleep quality. After doing our research, we realized that magnesium is the key. Magnesium is a crucial mineral in hundreds of reactions in our body, and it has an impact on everything from metabolism to sleep to energy, even bone and muscle health. It also has a role to play in stress response. So deficiency in this basic nutrient leads to bad sleep quality, low energy, accumulating stress, and impacts our overall health. There are also different forms of magnesium, and it's difficult to get all of it in your diet. Three months ago, we started trying a magnesium supplement from Bioptimizers. Their magnesium breakthroughs formulation has seven different forms of magnesium, all of which have a different function in the body. For myself, I really noticed the difference. I frequently get jumpy legs at night, but with magnesium breakthrough, I'm not disturbed by my jumpy legs and I get a better, deeper sleep. We're happy to tell you that Bioptimizers is offering a 10% discount for this special magnesium formula to our audience, just go to www.magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash modern or click on the link in the description and use the coupon code MODERN10 for a 10% discount. Thank you so much for your support, as always. Mm -hmm.